Hi, I'm Chris Thompson with the Ditch Witch Organization. Vacuum excavators have been used for many years to safely expose underground utilities. Today, I'd like to discuss the importance of selecting the proper nozzle and procedures for exposing utilities with your vacuum hydro excavator. This video is not a replacement for the operator's manual. Always read and thoroughly understand the operator's manual. Wear proper personal protection equipment described in the operator's manual. Many variables must be considered when using a vacuum excavator to expose underground utilities. These include nozzle selection, water pressure, water temperature, distance from utility, duration of exposure, and type or age of utility. Nozzle selection is the first critical step in preparing to expose utilities. Not all nozzles are equal, and not every nozzle can be used for every application. Fan nozzles and nozzles with a single straight flow pattern should never be used for excavating near underground utilities. Straight nozzles may be referred to as linear or zero degree nozzles. Both types of nozzles create a concentrated stream of water, which even at low pressures can damage utilities quickly. Nozzles used for exposing utilities must be a rotary or spinning type nozzle. These types of nozzles emit a rotating conical pattern which is effective for excavating soil, but gentle on utilities. Testing shows that the new Ditch Witch nozzle is an excellent nozzle for preventing damage to utilities. It is extremely efficient for excavating while using less water than most other nozzles. The most important factor after nozzle selection is to keep the lance moving. Never hold the spray lance motionless while excavating around utilities. Depending on the age and type of utility, Pressure should be reduced when nearing the utility. Adjust pressure and temperature as needed when working around underground utilities. If using heated water, reduce the pressure even further to prevent damage. Use the lance to cut away and soften soil. Do not insert the tip of the lance into the ground. This damages the nozzle and can also lead to the tip becoming too close to the utility. Keep the tip above the unexcavated soil. As mentioned, keep the lance moving vacuum loosened soil. If you have any questions about the proper use of your machine or nozzle selection, please contact your Ditch Witch dealer. I'm Chris Thompson with the Ditch Witch Organization. Don't learn safety by accident.